Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to an Arkham Wi-Fi battle with your troll, of course, the Scarander. Today we're going against Yoga again because this is actually a few minutes or 20 minutes after the previous one. So if these battles are uploaded back to back, then so be it. Uh, my team is not that good in NU. This is a team I really want to use to masquerade. I have Shy Barry to keep it kind of afloat uh, to resist rock damage. Now that's obviously not going to help it a whole lot. Uh, but I got Exotu, Garbodor, Rotom, Torterra, and Magmortar to keep this team afloat. The synergy wise, it's fine. It's not good, it's fine. Um, let's see, he's gonna bring. Oh, at least there's no Sork in this team. That's like that's a thing. Now Sangus is annoying. Um, shouldn't be too threatening, but that's annoying. Uh, I can, without a doubt in my mind, say that Mantine is going to screw my screw me over through and through this match. Um, damn, this is not really what I was going for. Now I assume he could start up with Juice or Mantine or set up rocks with. Uh, he could set up rocks with Mobile. Could default with Mantine. Mantine has a rough time here. And I think the best part is that I don't necessarily see anything in the team that could outspeed my uh, Rotom. With that said, uh, I do uh, kind of assume his um, either his Jinx or his um, Magmortar is Scarf. That would make total sense if they were. So yeah, let's do this. I do assume he's gonna start with uh, Hariyama, uh, since it actually can fake out on me, and you know, with Assault Vest it's kinda tough to do this. Let's see, the so basics, the Rotom, Johnny Rotom, gonna come out, and there's the Hariyama. Uh, they, that kind of, kind of was to be expected. Now of course, I don't wanna go from or actually, don't mind me. I was gonna say I don't want to go for. Uh, he's gonna go for a knockoff, right? Um, all right. So we're gonna get the bolt switch off, and of course that is going to do just about nothing on him. Of course, of course it does. Um, Masquerade should do fair here. Due to intimidate, it could keep him at bay actually. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna go for that. That that that's kind of nice. That's kind of cool. And there is a knockoff, and um, my god, does that hurt? Masquerade, you foul fiend, why? Why aren't you better? Um, so, can I presume that he's gonna bring. He could bring Mantine here or Moal. I'm going to set up. He's gonna withdraw that, depending on what he brings. Um, Magmortar. We don't like this, though. We don't like this. I can hope I'm faster. That's not likely. Go hydro pump. Ah, no. All right. Fair enough. So this scarf. Oh, we don't doubt it that. No, 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 hell. Oh, no masquerade for me. <laughs> so he's scarfed. So he's scarfed. He do fire blasts of all things. I guess go for director myself. Um, obviously he's gonna hit me resisted and I am assault vested. And uh, I actually heard his team quite a lot. His best play is to go back to Hariyama. I'm gonna go to T Bolt. I think that hits neutrally throughout here. But Hariyama is his safest play here. Um, there we go. And Hariyama's obviously being a soul vested is gonna take this fairly well. Oh yes. Oh yes, it is. I guess we're going to cool yet then. Need to keep my Magmortar healthy throughout this match, honestly. So Kuliat is not 
pretty much the best response here, but if he goes for a knockoff and Rocky Helmet, we'll hurt him. Um, so that's always pleasant if anything. And I can go for a layer of spikes. Has he any Pokemon that can come in on this? Well, kind of. Uh, kind of. He has uh, Jinx. I can bring Jinx fairly safe here. I just go for spikes anyway. But Jinx kind of gonna come in here. Mobile. Alright, that's actually kind of okay. Let's see, it is Intimidate, which means that this is a Stealth Rocker, if anything. I can only assume he's gonna go for rocks. So I'm gonna bring Minjis. This might have been too predictable. Oh, a yeah, Super Fang of all things! Interesting. I'm just gonna roost back. I think I forced him out, so I'm gonna bring Mantine in if anything. Um, so that's okay. Now I can't really hurt Mantine. I think this is the smartest play. We're going to hope that he goes for a defog. Tailwind. Alright. Interesting. I think I go for a crit here. Skull, berates. That's kinda dangerous. I'm gonna steal his leftovers, which I believe is kinda nice. But... Uh, I am probably not in an area where I can take another one of those. Now that he got the extra boost, that is... Shit! What the hell did I create? Um. Alright, this guy got dangerous. This guy got dangerous. Uh, I can only hope I can live one of these. I want to see what he locks himself into. Hope I can live another spold. Um, I did not foresee that. Oh, we do live it though. So oh! Oh, right! Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, we can't switch that one in. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. He gets momentum out of this though, he truly does. And he has a tailwind, which means... <sighs> which one do I want to force in? Can I want to force in Jinx? This did not go as I planned actually, that was... Did not need a burn. I do not need that burn. Uh... Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna bring Minjis here. Um, or Grector. Grector is a spirit choice because that brings in the Hariyama. Right? And if it brings in the Hiriyama, then I can go to Kulias. Since it still got the tailwind up. Hurt by spikes, but like I said, close combat is gonna hurt me so much. Um, he could also go for an earthquake, I believe. And uh, no, that's my bad if he does that play. But it shouldn't kill me. Alright, wait for fake out. That's better. Tailwind Peter out. Awesome. So 
so another spice in. Sangoose. Alright. Hmm. A facade will kill. Yeah, facade will kill me. It is what it is. Gotta cannot give up on Rotom. While well, to Toxic picks up. Um, <sighs> it's nice with leftovers, it's too bad the burn does more damage. That's kind of unfortunate to be honest. That actually sucks. Um, now, he has two options. None of them being preferably good ones. Uh, option number one. I bring in Torterra, he's gonna sack that Pokemon against me. Or... He's gonna go with everything in his power to uh, try to kill it. As he's more likely he would sack Hiriyama. Then losing Sangus. Right? I kinda need to play it riskier. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I need to hurt him. I'm pretty sure it will sack Hiriyama, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, I should have just gone for rocks. I hate myself. Oh, that sucks. No, that's my fault. I'm being predictable. I need to keep Torterra healthy. So Jinx is gonna come in. That is definitely expected. Preferably he will go for uh, Ice Beam here. He need to kill me or he loses Jinx. And I'll see if I can live the combination. Uh, Ice Beam should do just about nothing here due to me being Assault Vested. It still does a lot though. It's Life Orb, alright. It's Life Orb. Just gonna go for Earthquake, I believe. Since he got Mobile, who is a good switch in here. And his own Mind Warrior. Oh, Fire Blast, let's hurt this guy. He's gonna bring his own Magmortar. Actually, gonna sack Moab. Or sacking. Um, Alright, so that's Moab out of the way. Uh, so Sangu's gonna come in. I'm trying to remember how fast Jinx was. I think it was 195 by something like that. Let's see, Jinx. Jinx has 95. Sato is slower, right? Actually, also 95. That could be interesting. They are in a speed tie. If he's timid. And... Alright, I think my Torterra is kind of dead. Or, I mean, Kuliath is kind of dead. And... I'm playing a very dangerous game right now. I could stay in, uh, since I've... He is very likely to have Earthquake himself. Ah, oh, this is one of those situations, though. Oh! Play cool, man! You gotta play cool! Um, I need to turn off for... Um... 
Yeah, I need Rotera for his Sangus and I need Grector for his Gings. I don't need Kuliath. If I need the damage on my mortar, I'm not gonna get it out of Kuliath. I'm not. And he's Scarfed, so he's gonna lock himself into something. Um, yeah, I might as well scout what that is. Yeah, I gotta do this play. Not particularly fond of it, but like we already said, he's Scarfed, which means that I have options here afterwards. Maybe. Alright, so he has Earthquake on his own. Alright, that's killing next time. And I know you're Scarfed into that, which means I can switch out to Minjis. Which also means he predicted the shit out of me and brought Sangus, you son of a bitch. That was, that was actually kind of good. Um, now Sangus is slower. Sangus is slower. The goose. Obviously it's not called the goose, but that would probably be funny. Uh, let's see, Zangoose has 90 base if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we're faster. He's gonna hit us with a quick attack, but other than that, we will kill him with a psychic. Uh, wow, he's not going for it. Awesome. Alright, that works. That works. <sighs> that was awesome. He's gonna go back to his Magmortar. Lock himself into Fire Blast, I believe. He should have gone for Quick Attack. He should have gone for Quick Attack. Begin knows that too. Minjes, 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 Minjes! Damn, Masquerade was so wasted this battle! <laughs> Oh dear lord, poor Masquerade. Alright, he's really thinking about this. Now, if it brings Magmortar, I'm going just to sack Kuliath. There is, there's the only thing I can make there. Uh, I'm gonna actually sack it to the Fire Blast. Then I can bring my own Magmortar and lock myself into it. Or he's gonna go for the Jinx. So, like I said before here, we are in a speed time. Which means that I am forced to stay in. And go for each wave, hoping for the best. No, that sucks. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks. Luckily for me, though, I do believe he is in earthquake death area. So if he switches out to his own Magmortar, then this should be fine. Though I do believe he won the game, actually. Switch out, switch out, switch out, switch out. No, it's staying in. Can I leave the Psychic? I should. Uh! <laughs> no! Alright. Lots of special defense. But we do take out this guy. And he is forced to lock himself into Fire Blast. And I can't stay now because of... Uh... Well, let's face it, he got um, the special defense drop on me. Um, so I want uh, the best chance as possible to live this combination, so we're gonna give up that. Grector, you're back here. Or you get get back here. Ugh. And uh, like I said, he's gonna lock himself into Fire Blast, right? There's no other way he can play this one around. So, yeah! Cool ass! Did get up the rocks, though, so that's actually kinda cool. Now, I can only hope that Grector can take this damage onto him. Um, I mean, I'm Assault Vested, so that should be a factor. And it's a resisted hit. Come on, Grector, 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 Grector! You must live! You must! Oh, such a stud! Such a stud! Oh, and retaliation! The retaliation, and we are winning! Our first legit win against Joey! Oh, that was awesome! Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> wow! Fuck Masquerade! 
That was an awesome game, Joey. Thank you so much for that. And then I probably need to have these games uploaded back to back. Honestly, that, that's that's only like that I need to do that at any event. So, Joey, thank you so much for that game. I hope you guys enjoyed as you watched it. It was incredible. I love that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. And as always, sky's the limit. I'll see you in the next game. Until then, take care. Bye.